Well, some developing news tonight. A wave of Wawa's headed straight for the greater Cincinnati area right now. For those who are wondering, what is a Wawa? <laughs> well, some say it's going to be a game changer. Some say it's an innovation. Yeah, so it's really about to change the convenience <laughs> store landscape in a way that we've not seen here locally. And WLW18 News Science, Brian Hamrick live now with the story. And so, Brian, I know this is generating a whole lot of excitement and more excitement probably than any other convenience store would. Yeah, Cherie, you know, it, it, a lot of people are really excited about hearing this. Wawa is an Ojibwe word. It means wild goose. It also describes the kind of chase you'd be on if you went looking for one around Cincinnati today. But that's about to change. There are 60 coming to this area, including one right here in Hebron, another one not far away on Graves Road. There's one going on uh, down in uh, Lawrenceburg, and that doesn't even count all the works that's be done on the stores for Ohio. It's a gathering point for communities. It might be classified as a convenience store, even a gas station, but what you don't really expect from either is when the place called Wawa is described as a cult. There's truth to that. Um, it's, uh, you know, we've got some pictures and things of folks that send in that where they've gotten a Wawa tattoo or things like that. Patrick Warneman is real estate project engineer for Wawa in Ohio and parts of Kentucky and Indiana. He knows the true fans of Wawa are pretty gaga. It has an Elvis like following. There are a lot of folks on the East Coast that, have, you know, it's part of their daily life. They love it. Um, you know, they come some people two, three times a day for future sites in this wave of Wawa's are all over. There are 60 stores coming across the tri-state. Rain Township is getting two. But despite the popularity, not everyone is happy about it. I was sickened that my quiet, secluded street would be desecrated by the rezoning. At this Rain Township public hearing, some said, nah, nah, to Wawa here, but the administration passed the zoning. We were excited, certainly, when we heard Wawa was doing this massive Midwest expansion, and when they uh, chose Colerain Township. Certainly, uh, we were happy. David Miller is development director for Colerain Township. He expects it to be a good fit. And even though the cult-like following isn't for everyone, even the guy in charge here. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be getting a Wawa tattoo, but um... Wawa is about to make its mark on the tri-state. Yeah, and here's a good indicator of the commitment they have to this area. They're also building a key link in their supply line. It's a bakery for all their stores uh, in the area. They're putting that in Florence. That's going to bring 200 jobs alone. Reporting live, Brain Hemrick, WLWT News 5.